previous videos we discussed about um, the fi terminologies like node pool pool member and uh, virtual server right and also we understand about uh, we understood about how the traffic flow happens in the fi infrastructure right so here in this video we are going to discuss about how the traffic flow happens when we integrated asm model the waf to fi okay so basically uh, it's a client server architecture as we discussed earlier so there is a client here uh, so there is a client here and he want to access some uh, web application uh, in our example it's testfi.com right so uh, this web application is running in this three uh, pool members means nodes right and these pool members are associated to some pool and this pool is associated to a fi virtual server right and fi virtual server is the front facing of uh, the actual web server right so uh, as per client as per the user he will not be having any visibility about the actual or the original web server that is um, hosted uh, where the uh, web application is running so as per the client uh, he has only a visibility about the virtual server okay as per him this virtual server is what testfi.com because this virtual server ip we uh, only we have uh, uh, have we we have an uh, dns entry for uh, this www.testfi.com right so here when a client want to communicate with uh, this particular web application if it is asm integrated or if waf is integrated this is how the traffic flow is so the request will come to client sorry come from client to the virtual server and once it reaches it hits the virtual server uh, the whip of the fi there it will check whether is there any active layer 7 uh, policy associated to it okay if there is no layer 7 policy then it will directly go to the pool and based on the load balance algorithm whatever it is configured uh, it forward the request to particular server and it will respond to it and this is how the response will get back to the client right and if in case if there is an layer 7 policy associated to the virtual server then it will check is that uh, asm policy is available means uh, there are uh, lot of policies right so if a uh, layer 7 policy is associated to the virtual server then it will check is there is any asm policy the waf policy is associated to the virtual server okay if no then again uh, it goes back to the uh, default pool means when i say default pool whatever pool that is associated to this particular virtual server and based on the load balancing algorithm it will do the transactions right and if in case there is an asm policy associated then here it checks whether the received request is a valid request or not okay how it checks it checks against the security policy that we have already defined okay we already defined a security policy so uh, with that against that policy this request will be cross-checked okay if in case uh, asm sees that this particular request is a legitimate request and uh, th there is no breach and it uh, it is uh, it, it 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 goes with that security policy it doesn't find any uh, security breach or security compliance right so then it <coughs> sorry it decides that uh, this particular request is genuine request and forward it to the default pool and again based on the load balancing algorithm it will forward the request to the, any of its server and forward the request back to the response back to the client if in case it finds and if the request has any uh, breach security breach okay or any vulnerability or security breach or it uh, doesn't uh, go with the security compliance then in that case it triggers a violation okay it triggers a violation and it logs that violation it logs that request in our log and if in case we uh, configure in such a way to drop the request then it will drop it okay so this is how it mitigates the application server that is behind the asm okay so basically when a client request comes here to the fi it will check whether is there is any layer 7 policy associated with it and if it is associated then again when it comes here it will check is that layer is is there is any active asm policy is associated okay if asm policy is there then 
it will check this request against that ASM policy to make sure that this request is a legitimate request. If in case it is a genuine request, it doesn't have any uh, vulnerability or security breach or it goes with that security compliance again okay, with a security policy that we have created, then no issues. If in case it finds that the request is malicious, okay, then in that case it triggers a violation, logs that request and it will drop that request. So this is how ASM protect the web applications behind it.